Hello everybody, today I will show you how to make a simple application that you can transfer data between the visual controller to other visual controller. In this tutorial, I will show you between two view controller transfer data and you can implement this tutorial for transfer from the first view controller to the second view controller or you can transfer the second view controller to the third view controller or you can transfer to other view controller that you want and in this tutorial I use two view, two view controller okay let's go ahead to create together and the first thing you go to the main story board to create view controller and now I already create a simple application a single view application and here we have a view controller and the next step we need to create the second view controller I need to drag and drop the new view controller yeah here and this is in the tutorial I will show you how to transfer data between two view controller by segway okay let's go ahead to create a new file for view controller dot v for second view controller can right click and new file then you click you make sure click on go call class and click next and here you have view controller and you put for me I put the second view controller the view controller but uh, we now use the call count the call count framework is used for build application for Mac OS X but now we make application for iPhone ID device we use import UI key okay now we have the scan view controller dot switch and drag and drop this down and you can go to view controller in storyboard and assign the view controller that we made okay here the can view controller so the view controller dot space this is the can view controller dot space is linked to this view controller yeah here Okay, I need to change the background color. Mm, okay, no need to change background color. I want to put the text here or the bell. Okay, I use the bell. Assign to center and increase the font. Yeah, good. And I need to constrain it. Okay, now we have a uh, label and second view controller. And the fourth view controller, I need to put. Model here, and I need to change the background. I love to change the background, and I change the color or tag to Y, and I rename it to Drain. that okay now it's my bottom and I need to 
to create a uh, tag field for input the data to transfer to the second view controller. Okay, here, yeah. And now I need to use the action constraint to constrain the view controller. And here, the idea I need to put the data in this tag field, and I create the transfer data button and will send data to the country controller and so the data in this ladder and okay I need one more button to click back to the country controller I mean back to view controller but, but uh, not that link it's okay and here yeah okay you need to transfer to view controller between two view controller you need to segue how to create a segue between two view controller for the segue you can create something like this you can hold the control and you drag and drop to the second view controller here and you choose the whole yeah here this is a segue segue is the way you can transfer it and or do something else and this tutorial I will show you how to transfer it and use the segue the same way you can you need to identify the name it means identifier of the same way for me I can put the name transfer that I step way here step you need to run this control to the view controller you can click the system editor and here the class of the view controller and you can drag and drop it and you can put other tft value and edit the button action Oh no, no need to put action because when you drag this button to the country controller, then we make the action already. Yeah, this means action trigger segue. It means when we click this button, it will bring bring to the the country controller. And you need this one, and you need to bring this one to this view controller. Okay, bring the can RBR data. Let's see. Bring the segue back. I mean, to know so to click back. Okay. Then the next step, you need to go to view controller dot this to transfer the data. You need to use the method prepare for segue. Yeah, and then. You check this segway dot identifier equal the name of segway identifier. If 
have this array what we need to do is let v is a 2 which means second view controller and we need to run it for separate on destination view controller as second view controller and now we need to go to the second view controller what we need to do is create a utility load and we need to make a variable to receive the data from the server ok, data receive to assign to the data I initial empty and then utility load VR data dot tag equal data receive. This means that you load data receive is received from the survey. So and then you load data receive is transfer or assigned to until data receive dot tag. Okay, come back to your controller updates. the variable is called dt value dot tag yeah here we go what is that can assign a time stream to you other down okay sorry not via dot data okay need to be a because I declare variable it's not there to no that uh oh sorry that that is you private we cannot access from outside the class so you can check there that uh, we see here you can build and run ok I will need to put optional value build and run This is the tab bar, it's the bottom. And I click Hello. Okay. Click Hello. I click transfer. It's all in this level. And you can come back and you can take. Yeah. M go in on uh, right there okay. yeah successful ok if you want to know how to transfer between two view controller or multi view controller you can set back you can do anything with the same way you can go to see snap video and the next time thank you for watching
Please subscribe my channel for more tutorial, more useful tutorial. And in the next video, I will show you how to make the animation return with the same way and transfer the text from the visual controller in container. Thank you. Good luck.